Hi, I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. Your comments have been fantastic and I love the video suggestions. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and in the description box below, please share your email address to become a part of our exclusive YouTube family list. We are your modern approach to traditional beliefs, www.yayeo.com, which is one of the reasons why we make videos about all things spiritual. Today, our video is going to be about five mystical meanings of butterflies. So let's get started. So when we think about butterflies, I want you to remember anytime you see a butterfly, it represents change, it represents transformation, joy, new beginnings, rebirth, spirit, society, people in general. And if you keep these ideas in mind, when we talk a little bit about how butterflies come up to be, keep that in the back of your mind and then think about it from a mystical and a spiritual perspective. So when we see a butterfly, oftentimes before it turns into a butterfly, butterfly, it's usual, it's called a pupa. And the pupa then is encased in a cocoon kind of like uh, the shell. And as the, the pupa inside of the cocoon matures, starts to move around, more life, you start to see more and more life coming about. And once it matures, it comes out as a butterfly. Butterflies don't, like some birds, have to start figuring out if their wings work. As soon as they come out, they're using their wings, right? They're flying around. And they really know what to do. So that talks about this coating into, that nature has already had it coated into the butterfly. We don't oftentimes see butterflies in very cold environments. The sun usually needs to be out. Um, you'll see them in tropical places, warm places. Again, this is just from basic research and observation. And so I believe in life, you too need to make observations because this is how you internalize nature. So once it comes out, transformation has occurred. So in many traditions, butterflies represent the same thing. In Christianity, we see butterflies. I'm gonna let the phone keep ringing. We're gonna keep going through our video. Nothing's gonna stop us today. So when we see butterflies, it really represents these changes, right? So in Christianity, back to Christianity, Christ was thought of as being dormant um, when he was put in the tomb, right? And so when he was put in the tomb, that had a gestation period or a period of time where he was kind of just sitting, as we believe. And then life happened. So what do they say? He is the life, right? He is a part of this whole idea of life, of rebirth, of transformation. Similarly so, like the butterfly. So that's just kind of keeping that in mind. So butterflies represent this idea of sweetness in life. What do they do? they go and they drink the nectar out of the flowers, right? And so if we think about people, we're like the flowers, right? So we like to socialize with each other. But anyway, one is enjoying the nectar and carrying the pollen around, right? Beautifying the world. Two, they do not have a lot of natural predators. So again, we, if we think about being like a butterfly, not having a lot of natural predators, right? Some people have a lot of predators, some people don't have a lot of predators. Butterflies represent this carefreeness in life, this, this live and let live idea. You do you, I do me, right? We see butterflies just kind of bopping around, living. We also see a gentleness with butterflies. They kind of just perch. They get what they want and then they just kind of float away. You know, this nice, beautiful gentleness, no aggressiveness, anything like that. And lastly, 
we see butterflies usually in close proximity to where we are. It's unlike an eagle that's so far away, you can't see the beauty, you can't really like, it's not tangible to you. So butterflies also represent this idea of being social, coming together, enjoying life, enjoying each other, live and let live, be sweet, be gentle, all these different things that we cover today. I hope this gave you some ideas. We're gonna have some more videos about different types of totems. And you know, we'll see which one of you guys are more like the butterfly or the lion. You can look at my lion video on Instagram. Or maybe you're a tiger, right? Or an eagle. So uh, we're gonna investigate a little bit more of that, open that up for us spiritually. I hope that you guys got some good ideas. Comment below, tell me which animal you are. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and in the description box below, send your email address so you can become a part of our exclusive YouTube family list. See you next time. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.